He's a man who's often been described as larger than life, and George Grilicic's antics in a commentary box are almost as famous as his encyclopedic knowledge of sport. Some of those things I know are legendary, and uh, many of them are not exaggerated, Bob. <laughs> During his 47 years in sports broadcasting, Grilicic built a reputation as a man who could tell a good story, but with a tendency to cut off any talkback callers he didn't agree with. However, he was admired by his colleagues for his meticulous approach to his work. His preparation for something like an Olympic Games took months and months for him to prepare. Grilicic's call of Ben Johnson's world record 100 metre sprint at the 1988 Seoul Olympics is regarded as one of the best of all time. In under 10 seconds he spoke 53 words and 9 sentences at 330 words a minute. On their marks, set. Away, Johnson got away well, Williams got away quickly, so did Mitchell, Lewis was slow, so there was 50, Johnson in front of the halfway by a metre, Lewis might not get up, Johnson gave the winner, Johnson wins by a metre, the last 50 is third, put in by 979, a world record. a world record. A passionate follower of football and harness racing, Grilicic was still playing football for South Fremantle when he began his career at the ABC in 1960. It's uh, all in there. Oh, some solid punches going in. He covered 39 different sports in 36 years before moving on to commercial radio at 6PR. I don't think there's any, ever been someone in Australia who's been able to call a multitude of sports so consistently well. Grilicic held a law degree and once dabbled in politics, standing for the state seat of Coburn in 1977. He was diagnosed with cancer five weeks ago and died at the St John of God Hospice in Murdoch this morning. The trauma for me about all this is the effect that's going to have on them that I leave behind not on me, from the point of me, uh, from my point of view, of departing this earth by closing my eyes. George Gulisic was a larger than life character. Everybody knew him. He was a master broadcaster. George Grilicic is survived by his wife Judy, son Rodney, and twin daughters Jane and Caroline. a little bit of a uh, unpredictable person and also a person that's very stubborn and not malleable. In other words, I'm a man of strong opinions. I express them and a lot of people don't like that. Not everybody loves me and a lot of people hate me and a lot of people think I'm a ruffian and I've mistreated people. I understand that my persona is one which is perhaps different to what I really am and maybe even larger than, than my life itself. Away. Johnson got away well. So too did Mitchell. Williams got away quickly. Lewis was slow. So too was Christie. Johnson leads at the halfway by a metre. Lewis might not get up. Johnson is going to win it. Johnson wins by a metre from Lewis. Christie is third, followed in by, and then David Morrow says, 9.79, it's a world record. I don't want to die, but I'm not scared. I, as soon as the specialist told me, Peter Bremer, I said, Doc, I said, I'm not scared. For me to close my eyes and depart this world, not frightened at all. I've seen too many people go. My mother, my father, my auntie. I've seen my brother go. I've seen some of my best friends go. I said, and I, I've only ever believed I've got a lease on this world, and leases expire. I've met so many personalities. I mean, all the famous people you gravitate to, and they're not so famous. Everybody knows you. I've been in such a privileged position as a sports commentator. It's uh, been a hell of a privilege, you know, a hell of a privilege.